Dear students, today we'll be learning about lumbar plexus and its different branches. First of all, we need to have an orientation of this model. You are looking at the lumbar vertebral bodies. And then your bottom in the in the bottom you can see the sacrum, the coxal bone, the inguinal ligament. If I rotate this model, you can see the side view and you can see the back view. Look at the spines of the lumbar vertebrae and bottom you can see the sacrum. Now once we open it up what we can see here the spinal cord which has been shown at this level and you can look at the different spinal nerves the first second third and fourth lumbar nerves which has been shown very clearly on this side. Now our focus today is to look at the formation of the lumbar plexus. We all know that has been contributed by L1, L2, L3, L4. Okay guys, so now let's look at this is the spinal cord and this is my subcostal nerve. And then we can see this is L1, L2, L3, and L4 nerves. We all know in formation of any plexus of our body we have the contribution from the ventral rami only. No dorsal rami contribute in making in any of the plexus of our bodies. So now this subcostal nerve we have seen it. Now this L1 nerve look at it. It bifurcates into iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal. After that, from the roots of L1 and L2, we have someone who has been made who has a contribution from the L1, root of the L1 and root of the L2. And this nerve, it emerges from the substance of the source major muscle. It pierces it and it comes out. And that is my genitofemoral nerve. Remember, this lumbar plexus is primarily formed within the substance of source major muscle and then we can see that this is we talk about this is genito femoral nerve and you can see that it's bifurcating into genital and femoral branches please don't confuse this femoral part of the genito femoral nerve with the main femoral nerve after saying so now we are utilizing, we can see there from L2 and L3, we have a nerve which is formed and that is going towards the anterior superior iliac spine. We can see that it's going towards the anterior superior iliac spine and this nerve which is coming from the roots of the L2 and L3, that one is lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. And after that, what we can see more now, now look at it, the ventral rami of my L2, L3 and L4, they divides into anterior and posterior. Their anteriors, their ventral divisions, they join to form, can you see this green structure? That is the obturator nerve which passes through this obturator foramina and going to supply medial compartment muscle of the thigh. That is the obturator now. And then from the dorsal branch of the ventral rami of L2, L3 and L4, we have the femoral nerve, which passes under this inguinal ligament and going to supply to the front of the thigh. What we see here from the lateral border of my source major muscle, the nerves who are emerging, what we can see here, subcostal nerve, L1, which is in the name of iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal and then what we can see lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and femoral nerve. So these are emerging from the lateral border of my source major muscle and from the medial border of the source major muscle we have the obturator nerve and we have one more which is not easily visible here that is lumbosacral trunk which joins with the sacral plexus and then from the front of my source major muscle we have this genitofemoral nerve. 
Okay, students. So let's have a quick recap. What we have learned today, we are looking at the spinal cord, and then we are looking at different branches. So this is the twelfth rib. So this is my subcostal nerve, and then L one, L two, L three, and L four. This is what we talk about regarding the making of the lumbar plexus, and this all is happening under cover of my sos major muscle. And see from its lateral border, we can see here. Subcostal nerve, L1 nerve, which bifurcates into iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal nerve, and then we have the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. You can see that it's going towards the anterior superior iliac spine and it's going laterally down. And then genitor femoral has not been shown here nicely because that has been shown just as a tweak here. And now L2, L3, and L4. Ventral rami of L2, L3, and L4, they are divided into ventral and dorsal divisions. So their dorsals they join to form the femoral nerve, which you can see that going and running here. And then their ventral ventral division or anterior division from L2, L3, and L4 that is making the obturator nerve, which after passing through the obturator foramina, it's supplying on the medial aspect of the thigh. 